Welcome to another vlog. It's Sunday and we're at Pullen Park right now. This is our first time coming here because I wanted to get some pictures in my new shorts. So my husband just took a few for me. There's so many Instagram photo ops out here. There's like a little lake behind us and there's some cute swans over there picked me a flower so and there's a really cool carousel that we passed I wanted to go on it but my husband doesn't really want to I think he's kind of embarrassed the Pullen Park Densel Carousel is a historical gem and it was built in 1911. Oh, yay, it's open. Thanks, baby. Oh, it's a pickleball court too. Nice. We'll get some quick pictures and then we'll head out. We just came to Mellow Mushroom to get some pizza. We kept it simple and got pepperoni and mushroom. Nice baby. It's seven o'clock. We're on our way to the pickleball courts to actually play. Um, we just took some pictures earlier because the lighting was nice, but we're gonna actually play. We've been playing more frequently. We got our asses kicked last night by an older couple. They were really nice, but they whooped our asses like four games in a row. We didn't even get one win. So we're hopeful that tonight will be different and we can win a few games. Um, but my earrings came in the mail that I ordered from Etsy and I thought they were like, whatever the price was, I think like $12 for one. I thought that was a little crazy, um, but come to find out I accidentally ordered two pairs. I haven't received the other pair of earrings, the small initials that I ordered, so I don't know if I'm gonna get a pair of each initial or just one. And I don't know what's going on with me because um, apparently I'm oblivious when I'm making these online orders because I was looking at my Urban Outfitters receipt from the mirror that I ordered, and like I said, I swore that the mirror was supposed to be bigger and come to find out I ordered the wrong one. I ordered the medium sized mirror when I thought I ordered the large. So I'm gonna get that returned tomorrow. I just need to buy some tape to tape it back up because the box is all jacked up right now. Um, and then I'm contemplating on ordering the extra large mirror. It is like $100 more or so so i'm not sure if i'm gonna get the extra large mirror or get it somewhere else because i don't want to have to go through this whole process of returning it if it arrives broken again but i really do want a large mirror so if i'm gonna order it i need to order it with either within the next couple of days or when we get back from vegas so i might just end up waiting because we're leaving for vegas on friday and that's pretty soon that's in like five days there's never an empty court so really happy about that Monday night about 10 30 i'm filming my skincare routine right now my chin is still purging so what's new this is my new setup i left my other tripod in my car and i figured i would just use this and it actually works really well on its own so i'm gonna continue to film all of my content just using this shout out to walmart because they sent me this I just got done filming this two minute claw clip hairstyle and I really like the way it came out. Really quick and easy to do. So I think this is gonna be one of my new go-tos. I'm about to shoot some B-roll of this serum by Sunday Riley and then I need to get some B-roll of this milk primer. 
I just ordered this macro lens off of Amazon. I saw it on TikTok and I'm gonna use it to help elevate my UGC content. Using the iPhone camera, you can only get so close to the lens before it gets blurry and using the macro lens, I won't have this issue. So I'm really excited to use it because I've seen so many people use it and the quality looks so good. Wednesday I'm about to go to the pool and take some pictures and these are my inspo. I'm gonna take my book with me. I like this one and I already recreated that one a while ago. Love that. This one's really cute, but I don't want to wet my hair because I don't think it's a salt water pool. I think there's chlorine in it and that's really bad for your hair. So this one's super cute too. I took videos when I was out there and I just screenshotted these. I haven't put a filter on these yet, but I like how it came out. Um, I couldn't get this pose down. I tried a few times, but in the Pinterest photo, you can see the back of her bikini and I just couldn't get that angle with my tripod. I'm gonna have to ask my man to help me out with that one. I tried to get this angle, but I just couldn't make it happen and there were a few people out there. So I wasn't trying to take videos of myself for too long and draw attention to myself. I'm about to unbox my macro lens and test it out. I unboxed it, but I'm having issues setting it up. When I attach it to my camera, it just looks blurry and I contacted the support team. So hopefully they call me back and let me know how to fix this because so far it's just blurry. I really wanted to use it today too. We're on our way to play pickleball. My hubby just picked up some new flavors from Chunky Fit Protein, so We've been loving these protein cookies and they come out with new flavors on a weekly basis. At least that's what it said on Instagram. Um, but we're about to try the birthday cake flavor for the first time. We really like the cookie monster and the strawberry is my favorite. So first impressions. It's good. Mm -hmm. Tastes like birthday cake. I never used to like birthday cake flavor, but my husband put me on. Now I love it. Mmm. Is this a new favorite flavor? It's Thursday. I just got to TJ Maxx because I want to see if I can find a dress to wear Saturday night. My husband and I are going to see the show Awakening at the Wynn. It's a new show and we're going to go see it with my parents. I don't need a new outfit. I already have a backup outfit in my head if I don't find anything. This TJ Maxx is right next to a home goods, so I think I'm going to pop in there real quick. I need to do my nails when I get back home and then I need to start packing. I did laundry yesterday, so packing should be pretty easy. I have two gorgeous pen that my mother-in-law gave me like probably over a year ago and I want to see if I can find a nice gold chain to hang them from because they've just been sitting in my jewelry box and they have opal in the center which I love these are so pretty this is the other one I didn't find an outfit, but I got a few things. I ended up finding two gold chains to hang those pendants from. They were each $16.99 and it says they're 18 karat gold plated. So let me put my pendants on them. And then I got a refill of my curl enhancing smoothie. This is my favorite product to use on my hair. This was $10.99. I went over to Home Goods and I saw this vase that I was looking for about a month or two ago and I didn't love it as much as I thought I would. So I ended up going back to TJ Maxx and I got these two black vases instead because I've been wanting to redo our bathroom for the longest time. Not the one that I film my content in, but the other bathroom that my husband and I primarily use. There's not a solid theme in that bathroom right now and I really love the black and white theme that I have going on in the bathroom that I film my content in. So I'm gonna try to replicate that but give it its own style. I picked up a black rug, some black hand 
towels. And then I got this cute piece to put on the wall. I'll show you when I get back to my apartment. I'm happy I got a head start on that because I've been wanting to do it for the longest time. And all I'll have to do is get a few more things once we get back from Vegas. I think it looks great. Even stacked with the necklace I'm wearing right now. That was my biggest concern. I just wanted to make sure that I could layer it. Yay, I love it. Woohoo, I'm so happy. $16.99, can't beat it, holler. Now I can take a picture and send it to my mother-in-law. My bathroom's a mess right now, but I got this black vase to replace this red one. This has been bugging me for the longest time because it just doesn't go with the black and white vibe. So this is real eucalyptus that I hung in my shower from Trader Joe's months ago and I dried it out. So I'm gonna see if I can put that into the vase without it looking crazy. I think I'm gonna have to obviously cut the stems. Um, so I'm gonna do that right now. This vase was only $12.99. And then I got this cute wall fixture from TJ Maxx when I went back too. I love this so much. At first I wasn't sure, but I'm glad I got it because this one is similar and I was gonna put this in the other bathroom, but now that I'm looking at it, I think I'm just gonna put this here and then place this one in the other bathroom. I got this from Target like forever ago. Um, and then these frames are from Home Goods. I got like sometime last year, but I'm loving the aesthetic so much more already. And this was only $9.99. Out with the old and in with the new. This looks so much nicer. I love it. This face looks so much better. I think I'm gonna have to mess around with the eucalyptus a little bit because it's kind of coming out a little bit too far, but I love it. And good riddance to this. <laughs> with just those two small changes, I feel like my bathroom looks so much nicer. It's Saturday, we made it to Vegas. We got in last night, but I'm gonna start a new vlog. So make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and following me on all social platforms. If you wanna see what I'm up to, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it and I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.